Heterox Academy is about viewpoint diversity. That's what I focused on in my talk in 2011 about social psychology. Even though HXA was originally just a faculty project by faculty for faculty, within a few months of our founding, it was clear something big is happening across colleges across the country. I'm proud that the very phrase viewpoint diversity is, is now recognized. I think there's a recognition among university insiders that we've got to start taking it easier on each other. I'm John Tomasi. I was a professor of political philosophy at Brown University for 25 years. And as of January 1st, I'll be the first president of Heterodox Academy. I've always felt that universities never lived up to what I thought they would be. Perhaps because my ideal of what we should do with the university is so, is so lofty and so perhaps naive. I think the universities should be defended as gardens for curiosity. I think there are walls around the university not to keep out people of certain types, that's the mistake universities made for so long, that historical mistake, but walls to keep out the ordinary run of politics. You've been doing this for a long time. You're, you're very good at it. I've, I've seen you in action. Uh, and that, that love came through in the interview, that this was, this was you pursuing your passion in a more national way. You've, you've done a lot of great work uh, at Brown. You were willing to, to leave a tenured position and, and take the helm of a nonprofit organization with, a, with an uncertain future. Uh, you know, only a fool or a person who's very <laughs> passionately committed to do this would, would actually take that on. So I'm, I'm very excited uh, for you to take over and to bring that kind of, of, of public-facing love and creativity to the task. Thank you. So John, I want to ask you, who are we doing this for? And the reason I ask is that when, when I co-founded HXA in 2015 with Nick Rosencrantz and, and Chris Martin, this was an association of professors, for professors, by professors. But as you prepare to, to, to take on the leadership, who are we doing this for? I always have the students in mind. And every year I watch students come onto the Brown campus where I've taught for many years, especially the freshmen. And they have this hopefulness about them. They hope to have this great adventure. And the students look to us, faculty members, first and foremost, as the ones who are going to care for the sacred tradition of learning. Yeah. And if we don't stand up for them, then we've done something, we've missed an incredible opportunity. We that's, should. that's very beautifully put. Creating an important institution is hard going, slow, it takes a long time, and it can be destroyed and lost very, very quickly. That's right. You know, we are an organization of people who love the university and think it can be better. Imagine if we could activate them. Imagine if we could give those 5,000 professors individually, and now in groups too, reasons to be proud, reasons to actually be glad to be part of HXA, to want to be, be, be evangelical, perhaps, about these ideas on their campuses, to actually see themselves as people who are ministering to the souls of their universities, making them not just places where free speech happens, important though that is, but making them places where this magic of university life happens. The kind of, the thing that brought us all into the academy in the first place, that joy, yeah, that curiosity, as you know I call it, to really have a sense that they're caretakers for something essential in our society. And, and this is why we hired you. It's this kind of talk. You know I believe that. that. Yeah, no, because, <laughs> no, because it used to be really fun. Like that's, you know, that's why almost all of us got in because it was so exciting. I can't wait to see if we can do it. There are 5,000 amazing individual people, so different, so unique, gardeners, each of them probably eccentrics, and it humbles me to think of them being there like me, wanting something, wondering like me, can we do something together? What can be done? I want to give our members something that they in turn can give to their campuses that will make them proud to be part of HXA. Where ideas are being pursued seriously, intensely, bravely, and with humility together.